Yeah. Uh, yeah. So hello, hello everyone. Uh, for this next session, uh, Srida Gutam has a pre presentation on Debian for Open Science. So we have a short recording first, and then we'll open the floor for Q and A. So take it away. Hello everyone. This is Sridhar Gutam speaking to you on the topic Debian for Open Science. Open Science comprises of many things. It is access to the scholarly communications, access to the knowledge. But to make it accessible, the software has to be open and the Open Science also comprises the open software and open science infrastructures which the e-infrastructure, we may say, is built possibly by the open source software. Coming to Debian, see, it has inspired many other software packages. The notable is CCANS. CCAN is an open source, open data portal. It has, the, it has been inspired by the package management of the Debian. And the ePrint software, which is also available in other platforms, but the most popularly used is the Debian platform, which is being installed on many of the servers, like the Ubuntu, which is again based on the Debian. And coming to the Debian science, the software has to be made available to the researchers for making the science progress as the requirement of the science is more now we can feel it and find it uh, useful that the science has to be rapidly made available by the community of the researchers to the public and to the other peers and this the Debian science is aimed at providing the researchers and the scientists a better experience in using the Debian because mostly the scientists who may not be uh, well versed with the softwares and they require the tools for making those science uh, analyzed and the research to be progressed. These Debian science packages are all being developed for assisting the researchers to make the science progress. And there is a Debian for education to make the goals of this Debian for education is to make the distribution available for the educational use and to make it uh, installed at the school levels and provide the necessary applications for educational use. Now, the during the pandemic, many of our schools when it is closed and the access to the uh, educational tools for the sign uh, for the teachers is a one limiting factor probably the debian for education would build this kind of a support to the teachers to continue the research uh, education and there is a debian for medis medical uh, people medicine doctors and it is being uh, made for the uh, images, imaging in the medical sciences and also to the bioinformatics. And if you see uh, the packages available on the, the Debian, you can, sign, you can find all the subjects we have the uh, Debian package science available for it. You can see the biology, chemistry, physics, mathematics, uh, statistics, social science even to the uh, typesetting in the sense of making the documents the researchers has to produce the publications through a uh, neatly typed one uh, formats that will is being also assisted by the typesetting software called LaTeX and the Debian packages are made available to that LaTeX software. Having said this, I would like to stop here and would like to have your more uh, uh, interactions in the uh, Q&A section. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. 
So thank you, Sujah, for your presentation. Do you have uh, things to add? We we don't uh, we don't currently have any questions on the Q and A pad yet. So. Yeah, if there are no questions, but uh, if somebody is watching, uh, would like to hear me, like I wanted to say that this Debian uh, was like, I'm not from a computer science background, but uh, I've been using and it has been a very nice uh, uh, software, which we, many of the packages which we are, we require are being made, uh, made available. Uh, probably uh, I'm from agriculture background and uh, maybe I would like to join the developers in uh, putting forth my requirements. My means uh, the, the community requirements, the scientists who are working in that. If we are working with the phenotyping data or the uh, drones uh, to capture the data, how to get it analyzed by all those things. Uh, I started using Ubuntu uh, and then following this kind of uh, packages, uh, how being there made available. And this is my first conference in this Debian uh, and uh, I am looking forward to mo have more collaborations uh, so that I can learn more uh, with the developers and the users. All right. Yeah. So there's a there's a question uh, in the pad. Uh, the question is: uh, Does Debian Science produce software or just categorize software? And if the latter, so if Debian Science only categorizes software, is there a way to access these categorizations for uh, users that wouldn't be using Debian? So, I, um, are you involved at all with uh, the Debian Science group, or not, uh, Srida? Yeah, what I learned is it's a uh, it doesn't categorize software. I, it it produces software. It produces the packages. Mm. What I was saying is CCAN was inspired by the Debian uh, was the thing which I learned. And uh, many softwares, like I was saying, the ePrints uh, is one of the uh, software for the uh, repositories. Is having a Debian package repository, and uh, anybody who is uh, using a Ubuntu or any Debian can easily install that uh, software and start a repository. That's how that uh, this has been made. And I tried it and I installed and I am successful in the uh, hosting a local on a local machine, uh, the ePrint software. So on IRC, Don Fede is uh, thanking you for uh, your contribution uh, in this talk, and of course welcoming you to the to the community. And, uh, Thank thanks you. For, uh, yeah, thanks for being here. Uh, yeah. It's So does the audience have any more things to ask or to say or to contribute? Yeah, I see there is a mailing list for the DBN and uh, I'm following the uh, uh, their posts and uh, maybe anybody can uh, be part of this. Yeah, I mean, the. The Debian Science Group has a lot of uh, mentoring programs uh, for new contributors to join and help with the packaging uh, of software. 
Uh, there's also a subgroup called Debian Med, uh, which is uh, more geared towards uh, medical software. And so on that note, someone is uh, recommending, is asking if you have some recommendation of software that uh, exists and would need to be packaged, I assume, uh, on the Debian Med, uh, on the Debian Med front. Mostly bioinformatics softwares uh, can be recommended. Someone is writing, yeah, so waiting for the. For the suggestions, someone is pointing out ASQLab to read medical images. So I assume in the uh, DCOM or other uh, medical uh, oriented formats. I don't know, uh, Srita, do you have any uh, other I guess conversation starters uh, to help the audience uh, for this conversation? Uh, not exactly uh, because I'm not authoritative, I just wanted to put forth this uh, to my colleagues or anybody who's watching so that like this, there is a, now the DBN is working on medicine, maybe it can be for the plant science or for the mm -hmm. agriculture or for any other things and uh, the software part is taken care of by the people so let's uh, let's how our products machines everything can be integrated with the software so that the more uh, open source ecology products comes into the world yeah well uh, i think that makes sense uh, thank you for this uh, call to action uh, i assume that your contact details are on the Page for the uh, for the presentation, so we'll be available uh, after uh, after the presentation. So thanks a lot. Yeah. Thank you.